Hey guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making a super easy folio uh, from start to finish. So I'm going to be using 110 pound cardstock for the entire folio. And so we are just going to be using a very simple techniques. And so I hope that you guys join along and let's get right into making this folio. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope that you guys are excited about making this new folio tutorial. Uh, and these are definitely my favorite thing to make because they're so easy, they're super fast. You can get one out in no time and use all of those beautiful paper collections and that you have on your stash so i am going to be using um, this glamour paper this is one that has been sitting on my stash and i think this is the perfect time to use it it has a little bit of like romantic uh, feel to it and maybe it will be really cute for valentine's day i love the blues it reminds me of like breakfast at tiffany's it's just so so pretty so i think this is the one that i am going to be using and i think for this tutorial i'm going to be just working on the base of the folio and then i'm going to decorate the um the folio on a separate video or maybe just do a final walkthrough for you guys and okay so we're gonna start with the base part of the folio so i am going to cut my cardstock here at eight at uh, ten by eight and a half and i'm not gonna be doing um cut, cut, <coughs> cutting guide for this folio i'm just going to be going with the flow and see what we uh, end up with and so to this piece i am going to score along the 10 inches we're going to score at one at two and then i'm going to score at eight and at nine okay and then we're just going to fold along the score lines here okay so this is going to be the back piece of the folio and then we're going to add a couple layouts uh, or a couple side opening panels and then i do want to have also a top panel as well and so i'm going to now cut two pieces and one is going to be eight and a half by six and one is going to be eight and a half by five and three quarters okay so you want one to be just a little bit smaller and so that way they can they don't have to overlap together okay so i'm going to add uh, some glue right here and we're just going to join these two okay i'm just gonna put that one right in here it's quite raining i don't know if you guys can hear the rain but this is definitely the only time that i have to record this video i am having such a busy weekend um, with my girls on volleyball tournaments they are like eight hour days i am not even <laughs> joking uh, today we were there from two until 10 p.m and i am doing this video at midnight <laughs> uh, because i'm just too hype up i can't go to sleep right now um we won a couple games and we're just excited and we have to come back tomorrow <laughs> so it's been a fun long weekend full of um sports and just hanging out with the other parents it's just been a blast okay so now we're going to close on this up and we're going to put this on the side and now i'm going to work on the panel that is going to come from the top and so this piece is going to be um, six inches and we are going to score this piece along the 11 inches here i am going to score first at eight and a half Okay, so eight and a half 
and then I'm going to score at nine and five eighths. Okay, so eight and a half and nine and five eighths. And basically, I want this section here to be one and one eighth. Okay, this panel right there. And then whatever is left over, we're just gonna glue down. Okay, so now we have this piece and this is going to be glued on the back here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, just open this up for now and then that way I can lay this flat and we can glue this right there. And you wanna glue it on the back panel. Okay, and then I'm going to just add the glue here. I'm gonna go like this and put this right in there okay and then press down okay and then so here we have the base of the folio the five and three quarters is going to fold first and then we're going to fold the six inches here on top and then we're going to fold this top panel and it should all close like a little box here so that way it's a little bit more sturdy as well now we're going to open this up and open all of that and we're going to start working on the um, inside elements for this folio so we're going to put that on the side and i am going to do here uh, for the side panel um, so I am going to cut two pieces at a five and a half. Okay, and I am going to score at half an inch along the five and a half. Okay, so one and two, and then we're gonna fold along the score lines here and here and bring this out and then we're just going to glue this along the on the right panel one on each side okay so here we go one at the glue and i'm gonna put this one here okay so right next to that bending line Press down, open this up, and we're gonna put the other one here on this other side. Okay, so there we go, and press down. Okay, so now I'm gonna open that up. And, press. and so now I'm going to cut a new piece and this one is going to be four and three quarters by four and a quarter and I'm going to score at half an inch along the four and three quarters okay score at half an inch and then we're going to fold and we are going to add this piece here on the same side uh, that we are uh, that we added these two i'm going to put this one so this is going to be like a little closure for that and let's add some glue and i'm going to put this one right at the center here okay and so this little piece is going to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter and i size it that way because my paper collection has um, a few four by four um, little layouts that i can just glue in there and so that is probably a way that you can um, something that you can accommodate to your paper collection if you have more of like a four by three car you can make this smaller to fit what you have um, so it's always good to look at um, the paper you're working with that way you know how to uh, use some of the images there so that is going to be the closure so here i'm going to add 
a magnet and so let's do two sets of magnets here so i'm gonna put these two let's add some weight uh, and just some tape okay so here we have one and two and then we can oops add this one there here we go and then we are just going to add the tape and close this up and then just press down here and there we go so now i'm just going to press down press down and so that is going to be this side and next we are going to work on the center here so this one is going to come on top so on this inside panel i don't want to add too much because we are going to be adding magnets to keep these two so why don't we go ahead and add the magnets that way we know we are not working on this side now i'm going to add three magnets here actually i'm just gonna do two two magnets here and put this ones like that and then put one and two okay and then two more pieces of tape and these are 10 by 1 magnets by the way i do have an amazon um like store link down below where I put all my favorites and you can find these magnets there because I always get a lot of questions about the magnets so if you link on that if you click on that link for my Amazon store you'll see my most use um, supplies and so yeah so magnets is probably the one thing that I am constantly buying like I just bought four packs of these uh, 100s and yeah they go super fast for me because I, I use them all the time and okay, okay. So, then, so now we're gonna close these and those two are gonna magnetize in place right now and then I do want to also add the magnets for this top flap okay so I think I'm going to reuse the magnet that is here but i'm also going to add another one on that side okay so two magnets and you want to make sure that you are holding your side gussets perpendicular and that way um, your folio it's going to be nice and uh, straight <laughs> okay so i'm just going to add the glue that way i can see where i need to add the magnets okay and i'm just gonna grab the glue and then it's gonna leave a mark okay so now let's open this back up and then here is where i'm going to add these magnets so one okay and then And then just add some tape like that and there we go so now the base of our magnet is done it's kind of um, flimsy right now because the, the inside is still pretty empty so once we filled that inside is going to feel a little bit more sturdy as well so now i'm going to open that up i'm going to open this up and we're going to work on this center pack so i'm going to cut one piece at five and three quarters by nine and a quarter and then we're going to score this here along the nine and a quarter at half and at one and we're going to fold along the score lines and then we're going to add these 
piece let's open and open and open and this is going to be added right here on the center okay so middle center part of the folio we're just gonna add some glue and put this right there okay right below that bending line and press down okay and then i'm just going to hold this gusset perpendicular and so what we're doing is creating a middle layer here and now we can work here and then we can work on the top here as well so i'm going to start with the bottom layer and i am going to cut one piece at five and three quarters by eight and a half okay and I'm gonna put this on the side then I'm going to cut a new piece this is going to be five and three quarters by seven and a half so I'm gonna put those here and then I am going to cut a new piece and also five and three quarters by six and a half okay and now we are going to score these pieces at one inch along the six and a half so i'm gonna start with the six and a half okay so one inch now for the piece that is seven and a half we're also going to do one inch and same for the eight and a half we're going to score at one and then i'm going to fold along the score lines for each one of these pieces and now before i add this back to the book i am going to be adding some other layouts here so i am going to use now my scrap pieces and for the first flap i am going to cut two pieces and these are going to be five and a half okay so we're going to do five and a half and just by five okay and i'm going to score along the five inches at half an inch okay so five and a half by five and we're scoring at half an inch along the five and i'm going to grab that first piece and we're going to glue one on each side okay so let's add the glue here and add one on this side and then i'm going to add this one on the other side okay so we're just going to line those up and there we go so now these two open up like that and we have the one inch here on the back i'm going to just put that one on the side here and then we're gonna do the same and so for the next one we are going to cut the cardstock at six and a half and i'm going to cut this one at five and a half okay so five and a half and five and a half and we're going to score at half an inch along the five and a half okay so i'm going to score at half and at half and then we are going to fold along the score lines right here and now again we're gonna glue one on each side for this layer and i'm just gonna put one here my goodness that rain is coming you guys it's coming and we're gonna do this one here um, okay so put that one right there 
press press down okay and then so here we go two more openings and i'm just gonna put that one next to that and then we're going to do this one more time and so we are going to now cut a piece here this is going to be seven and a half by five and a half okay so two of these and we're also going to score a half an inch along the five and a half okay so half an inch and let me just double check this is five and a half okay and score at half an inch okay and then we're going to fold along the score lines here and we are just going to add these two one on each side again okay so one here press down and then we're going to do the other side here and here and press down so now I have the folio back here and I am going to start by adding the longest uh, piece here we're going to add glue on this one inch section and we are just going to put these right along the top okay so we're going to add the glue there so this is going to be like a waterfall it's kind of like a waterfall with a twist i guess um, because it's gonna be just three pieces and each one is going to have these opening sections okay so we are going to just press down i'm gonna open that up and press down here now i'm going to add the next one the one that measures six and a half and we are going to glue this where that one inch ends that's what we're gonna glue this one now okay so add the glue okay and just place this one right here okay so i do want to make sure it is center press down okay and then i'm gonna open that up and press down and then we're just going to add the last one which is the five and a half and add some glue and then put this one right there okay so press down okay so i'm gonna open that up and press down and then press down and then on this back panel we could also add another flap as well or we can just leave it like that let me see how much room i have i think i'm just gonna leave it because i don't have a lot of room for um adding more but definitely maybe we can do a little pocket so i'm just gonna grab one of my uh, scrap pieces here maybe something a little bit bigger and we can make a pocket so i am going to maybe cut this um, here really quick i'm gonna do three and a half let's say maybe three yes that's fine three and a half and then we're gonna do this by seven uh six and three quarters actually okay so three and a half by six and three quarters and then we're going to score let's go like that score these at half an inch on three sides so half half and half to make the pockets and we're going to take out 
the corners where the lines intersect take those out and take that out and then we're going to fold you see here along the score lines and then we're going to just add this pocket here now if you want a bigger place for a picture you definitely don't have to add the pocket <laughs> and so now i'm just going to add the glue and we're gonna put this right here okay so line it up press down and there we go so that is going to be this level uh, the bottom level and then it's going to all close on this panel and now we can work on this top section okay so i'm going to first cut a piece at six and a quarter and this is going to be by eight and a quarter and we're going to score these at half an inch along the six and a quarter so we're going to score at half and then I am going to fold along the score line here and I'm going to work on this panel and then we're going to attach it to the book and so for that um, section here I am going to cut another piece at four and a quarter by four and a quarter Okay, and this is going to be a little spinning uh, piece here. So I'm gonna put that one on the side for now. And I'm going to just use some of my scrap pieces. And let's see if these are both. Uh, I'm just gonna cut five, this at five. And let me do this by seven. Okay, so two pieces of five by seven there we go and then i'm going to score these two pieces uh, half an inch along the five inch side and then we're going to fold and fold okay. so now i'm going to bring this one back and you want to make sure you have your half an inch score line to the left side and i am going to now glue these two um one on each side along the top okay so that's my glue and we're gonna put one press down and then we're going to do this one and press down here and just line it up to the corner oh my goodness I love the sound of the rain I just hate driving on the rain and tomorrow morning we have to leave super early okay so now we have these two panels and I went ahead and cut my design paper I just have one of the background pages and this is going to be five and a half by eight and a quarter and i'm just going to glue this down before uh, we add the next piece okay so i'm gonna glue this one right here and then i want to attach the four and a quarter by four and a quarter but i also want to cover that up so i'm going to use one of my four by four uh, designs here so i'm just gonna cut this and i think i'm going to use this one here okay. and let's do that i'm just gonna add a little bit of color to the sides right there okay so now i do want to put this one right there i'm gonna close that up 
And before I glue these, I want to add a magnet, or maybe two magnets along the top. Okay, so we're gonna add some magnets. Let me just add some glue. And add some glue here. And then we're going to glue this down. And so here is this piece. Now I'm going to um, use a little brat. Okay, and we're gonna place this right at the center along the bottom. And you're going to just poke a little hole here. And you wanna put this really close to the bottom, maybe about half an inch away from the edge. And I'm just going to make a hole and then add this little piece, okay, the little brat. And we're gonna close this here on the back. And I'm also going to add some tape here on the back, okay? So we're just gonna secure that like that. And now we're gonna spin this down and we're gonna close these two panels and we're gonna spin this back up here. And we need to transfer those two magnets back to this page. So I'm going to spin this back out at the two magnets. And then I'm going to add the tape and we're gonna just transfer this back. So there we go, have those. And now I'm just going to spin this back and we're going to uh, push down on this tape right here. Okay, so now take that out and press down. So that is going to keep this whole section closed. I'm gonna finish up the paper, um, but we're going to bring back our folio open that up open and open and this whole thing we're going to glue here on this top panel okay so we're gonna add some glue and put this right on this side okay and then i'm just going to press down right here okay so now this whole thing is going to open up like that so let's press down and I'm going to cover these two sections with my cardstock so I went ahead and cut two pieces at five and a half by eight and we are going to glue these ones down Okay, so I want to cover this up so that way we can add uh, one little like pop-up element here on this page. Okay, so I'm just going to add this one. And here we go. So we're going to cut a piece of cardstock and this is going to be, I'm going to do five, uh, let's do five and a half, okay? And this is going to be by eight. And I'm going to score along the five and a half at half an inch and along the eight at four inches and then I'm going to add double-sided tape all along this half an inch section here okay and let's go ahead and cut this and then I'm going to fold along the score line Oops. here and then right here and you want to cut these corners out, okay, where we put the tape. You're just going to cut these two sides, okay? So we're going to have a piece that looks like this. And then I'm going to bring my book back. And 
we're going to add this little pop-up feature so you want to hold this with the tape along the top and you also want to make sure this center folding line is the side that is going to be here touching this bending line right here okay and then we're going to um, make sure this little tip on the corner is touching the bending line so you want to hold that there and then you want to make sure you rotate this so it's not coming out at any point so you want to make sure you don't do this where it's coming out here uh, and you just want to keep it here in frame okay and i'm going to now go ahead and remove the tape and then we're going to close this and press down and then we're going to open this up and then from the other side we're going to remove the tape and then close this again okay so just press down here and then when you open this up we're gonna have a large pop-up place for pictures there and then also of course place for pictures down here and so i just always love adding just a little bit of pop-up elements to my books so now we're gonna close this and we're gonna close this and there you go and so there you go we are done with our quick and easy little folio with a little bit of interaction to it uh, i'm going to of course decorate this and to come back and show you a final walkthrough uh, but so this folio opens three ways here and on this panel we just have a very simple opening layout there and then here on the center we have this spinning uh, feature this opens and opens and then we close this up and then this opens here we have fun little pop-up and then we have these waterfall um, opening pages there for a lot of extra room for pictures and then of course a little pocket here on the back so i really hope you guys enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this also i do have a membership where i offer bonus tutorials technique tutorials and one life class every month and so i'll have all the information down below of course you can join my patreon as well i want to thank you so so much for all your support to my channel and i will see you guys on the next one bye bye